moving on to question number five. <clears throat> we have a table of values for x and y, and we have the equation relating x and y in here that is three times half to the power x. Now, in the first part of the question, they have asked us to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y in the given table, obtain an estimate for this value. All right, first of all, in order to use the trapezium rule, we need to find out the value of h. We know that h is equals to b minus a divided by the number of strips. So b is the upper limit of x and a is the lower limit of x. So the upper limit is 7 and the lower limit is negative 2. Now we just need to find out the number of strips. Most of the students make this mistake is that they just uh, they just count the number of values of x which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and they think that the number of strips is 7 but that is completely wrong. If you look at it in this way let's assume that this is minus 2 and there is minus 0 0.5, 1, 2.5, 4, 5.5 and 7. As you can see that there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 strips. So, or you can also think of it like this. The total number of values of x is 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the number of strips will be the will be 1 less than the number of values of x. That is 7 minus 1, which is 6. So this will be 6. So the value of h is 3 over 2 or 1.5. So the value of h is 1.5. Now in order to use the trapezium rule, we we have to use the formula. So this is basically the area, area under the graph. So we can say that the area or minus 2 to 7 times 3 to the power 1 over 2 to the power x dx. This is approximately equal to half times half multiplied by height. The height is 1.5. So that's 1.5. Now in order to use the trapezium rule, the formula was that you first need to write down the first value of y, which is 12. So that's 12. And then the last value of y, which is 0 0.023. So that's 0 0.023. Plus twice of the summation of the middle values of y that is 4.243 so it's 4.243 plus 1.5 that's 1.5 plus 0 0.53 0 0.53 plus 0 0.188 so 0 0.188 plus 0 0.066 so this is the formula and we just need to find and calculate the value so the value of this is approximately equal to 18.808 so that is the answer to the first part of the question now moving on to the next part using the answer to part a and making your method clear estimate the value of this so what we can do is that um, we know the value of 3 times half to the power x we do not know the value of this but we can change this we can alter this expression so that's 3 times half to the power x plus 2. So 
So that's 3 times half to the power x plus 2. We can write this as 1 over 2 whole squared times 3 to the power 3 times half to the power x using the indices law. And since this is a constant, we can pull this out to the side. So that's 1 over 4 and minus 2 and 7. 3, to the, 3 times half to the power x dx. So this, uh, so we can easily find out the value of this expression. We know that this value is equals to 18.808. So we can replace this with 1 over 4 times 18.808. So this is equals to around 4.7. Zero two. So that is the answer for this part. Now moving on to the next part. We need to find out the value of this. So let me just write down this expression. So it's integrate minus 2, 7, 2 to the power minus x plus twice of x dx. So in order to write uh, we can write 2 to the power minus x as 1 over 2 to the power x and plus 2x and we can separate these two values like this half times to the power half to the power x plus integrate negative 2 7 2 x dx and dx now as you can see that we do not know the value of this but we know the value of 3 times half to the power x so what we can do is that we can take 1 over 3 as common and bring the 3 on this side so now we can easily find out the value of this and for this part we can bring out the 2 So we can replace this expression with 18.808. So it's 18.808 plus 2. And if we integrate x, we will get x squared divided by 2. Minus 2 and 7. So this will be 49 over 2 minus 4 over 2. So this is equal to around 51.3. So that is the answer to this question. And if you guys have any confusions regarding the solution, Please let us know in the comment section and we will try to answer each and every single question as soon as possible. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video.